Today we're going to service the Grandstand Gemini. Now we've covered all the other Grandstand models. We've done the Hawk, the Bluebird, the Base Station, the P2004 hand portable, and that just leaves the Grandstand Gemini using the same Suruga Japanese chassis as the Base Station. So under this screening can is the very unusual arrangement for the synthesizer and VCO using the long obsolete NEC UPD 2812C phase lock loop chip which according to my data book stems from about 1973 so what we'll now do is we're going to transmit and we'll go through it with you now this particular radio is like new and I'm just about going to uh, put it on frequency with the 36.6162 oscillator which should be down there so marginally out it was virtually not worth adjusting it should be 2779125 it was 2779121 which considering it's a 30 year old set is, uh, is brilliant so we'll just move through the um, various stages uh, transformer 2 I think it is it's one of our transmit multipliers I'll just peek that one L7 Oh, I'd better just tell you what the power is doing at the moment. It's doing three and a half watts. And if I can see my green trimming tool, Okay, so I've done that meticulously a few times over, and um, I've just got it to shade away from uh, four watts. So now we'll set it. It's a. Um, I'm going to go to the uh, CB lingo and say it's a fairy light display. I'm going to key up. We've got watt. It's lighting up to three and a half. So what we'll just do is just have it so that it's on the just about top lighting the force. The adjustment for the power meter is that one there. And that's now set that. Now it has a low power switch uh, which is preset, it's not adjustable and on this radio it's doing about 350 milliwatts. So we, of course we prefer to do 400 milliwatts, but that's uh, how it is, and it's within an acceptable spec. So now we'll move on to uh, setting up the deviation. So I'll get the little oscillator out. quite low actually, it should be uh, to maximum of 2.5, so look at 2.2 to 2.5 and it's actually started to make me wonder whether there's a fault, it's that low, it's uh, 1.5, so 
So we'll see whether that will adjust. And the deviation is through the screening can here. That's adjusted to 2.3. So I'm going to give it a quick whistle test just to make sure that's within what we'd expect. <whistles> Wallow. <whistles> Actually, it's slightly over. So we'll just go back to the oscillator. check with the whistle test again. <whistles> yeah, that's now spot on. So that's set the deviation. So just to recap, we've set the frequency using L10. This coil here can must be part of the VCO and you can end up with it not working on channel 39 but working on channel 1 so you can balance it out with that and then we've got uh, one of the transmit multipliers is there moving up to there L7 and L4 and the power meter adjustment is there and that is it on the transmit side of the grandstand Gemini if you join me on the uh, next video, it's on the rather complicated setup of the receiver.